Hi, it's Peter Radcliffe with you here today and today I just want to talk about the difference between different NLP trainings and in particular an 11 day training on the one side versus a 7 day training on the other. Now if you've done research into NLP you'll find that there's different lengths trainings. There's some which go for like 25, 30 day trainings over a space of a whole year, down to 28 day trainings, 11 day trainings, 7 day trainings, even 3 day and 2 day trainings which you can get your NLP certification. Now obviously this is a big difference and the reason is of course there is no government regulation on the amount of days that you need to spend in getting your NLP certification. There are bodies, uh, boards, there's lots of different boards in America according to the different schools over there. Uh, there's one main board here in Australia. But I want to just speak to you a little bit about why you should go for the longer training rather than the shorter training because it is attractive to get your NLP certification uh, done with in a couple of days or seven days and get a certification. However, I really think that NLP is such an important set of skills, you should learn it uh, properly. Now, obviously when NLP started being taught, you actually had to apprentice yourself to a, uh, one of the founders or one of the masters of NLP for a couple of years before you were uh, felt good enough to go off and practice on your own. Then it became a course and since then we've got pre-audios where we give you CDs of the whole course to begin with so you can listen to the whole course in your own time which is, that means that you're able to learn it faster within the course but still it is really important to get NLP into your system and be able to practice it and use it properly. So a couple of the differences. First of all, the seven day trainings in order to cut them down, they have actually cut out a part of the syllabus that normal NLP trainings take. So if you do a seven day or a three day training, you will not be learning all the NLP techniques that are so useful in being an NLP practitioner. And I really think that some of those things they cut out are invaluable. They're things that I use very, very often with clients. The second reason why you should not necessarily go for a seven or a, a, a three day training is because, and this is possibly more important, the practice time you get and the time you spend with the teacher is really reduced. I've met lots of people who have learned and know the theory of NLP but have never really practiced it properly with people and so they lack confidence and they lack the skills and they don't end up using their NLP in their NLP. Whereas people who go through 11 day trainings or, or, or longer trainings, there's a good amount of practice time where you can practice with your colleagues. And we don't, not only do we practice in class um, at Adelaide NLP here, we actually create our study groups outside of the main teaching days where you practice the techniques that you learn. Also, uh, you don't get a chance to work with the teacher. Some of the um, NLP schools, they take 20, 30, 40 people over a period of three or four days and you're not going to have that one-on-one -on -one chance to work with a teacher. Whereas with an 11-day training where the numbers are limited to less than 12 people, there's ample opportunity for you to get up and work one-on-one -on -one with an NLP teacher and this makes a huge amount of difference. Finally, the three and seven day trainings are often done all in one block. So from Sunday till Sunday or whatever. And that compressed amount of teaching, again, means you still understand the theory of, of what you're taught and you're not taught everything, but you do understand it. But you don't have a chance to practice it out uh, in real life. Whereas a training which is say a 11 day training and split up over three months, which is the, the way I teach, gives people a chance to go away, use NLP on their family, at work, with colleagues, maybe with clients. And when they come back, they're full of a whole lot of questions and they're ready to absorb information. 
you'll find there's a lot of information delivered in a short amount of time and rather than getting overloaded, it's better to learn a block, go away, practice it, integrate it, learn another block and so on. So for all of these uh, reasons, my recommendation to you obviously is to don't initially go for a shorter, cheaper NLP course uh, just because of the, the savings in time and money, but really make an effort into knowing what you're going to learn in an NLP course and choose wisely so that you get the most out of this incredible body of teaching that can be so life transforming. Okay, thanks very much.